I'm just laying the last few flags of this paving area and um, I'm down at the, um, the Sandal Centre on the outskirts of Coleraine where over the past uh, few months we've been working on what is now the Mount Sandal Community Garden. Um, it's a, a small area of a car park that was once overgrown with shrubs and litter and we're turning it into um, a little allotment garden for the local community to use. It's been a lot of fun and I'm going to let them share with you a bit more about it. I was just thinking, George, about how this all started. It is absolutely amazing. When we decided to do this, we thought, right, the Sandal Centre is being used by the community. But what about outside? Could we make it a place for the community to meet as well? And there was this border, overgrown with, what, 20 years of shrubs and an awful lot of litter, and we thought, there is a place we could turn into a community garden where the community would be welcome. And the other thing that we had in mind was, can we have a, a part of the car park where nature can flourish? Would that be right? So, it has been one of the most rewarding of my experiences in my life to see it happen. And here's a couple of examples. We've got the local children coming in on a Saturday morning. I think nothing they like more than to water or to pick, pick you know, if there's peas ready, pick up the pods. They have raked and they have mucked in. That's one example. This afternoon, we had 22 local teenagers mulch the big border over there. And then we had a lot of fun making scarecrows. So that was that day. And then this one makes me laugh, George. There's a local lady who apparently brought her porridge, had her poached eggs, and had her breakfast on the seat in the quiet. <laughs> so, and then as regards nature flourishing, we've got squirrels, robins have been seen, um, bees, and insects. So it has been a joy. How have you found it, George? Right, how, how have I found it? Well, for me, gardening is a very enjoyable activity and has been over many years, but all of my gardening so far has been in my own garden, and that's been great. But uh, what I've found since starting this project is that gardening with others is even more enjoyable. In fact, it has been an absolute hoot, so you should give it a try. <laughs> beds of the garden were planned uh, during the winter months, uh, deciding what should be planted and where. But then along came lockdown, uh, resulting in no practical work being done during April, May and June. However, as we came out of lockdown, we came together again more enthusiastic than ever, growing in numbers by the week. We had children through to people for whom childhood memories were but a distant, uh, very, a very distant memory. It was all hands to the plough, pun intended. It has proved to be a time of bonding, great camaraderie, fun and getting to know people better and sometimes seeing each other in a different light not to mention a little bike-breaking work. We have adapted and planned as we have gone along. Instead of four beds, we now have seven beds, all are full. And it reminds me of that famous line from one of the Mor Morecambe and Wise shows, where Eric Morecambe is playing the piano. And he says, I know I am playing all the right notes, but not necessarily in the right order. So that's the story of our garden. Uh, so let's all enjoy our very own Mount Sandal Community Garden. So 
working in the centre every day, I just love it whenever the place is busy and there's lots of activities and different people coming in. And we really hope that the garden will be just an extension of that. So there's groups um, of older people like Young at Heart and Wednesday to Get Together who use the centre and we'd love them just to be able to have a dander around the garden, bring a cup of tea and um, just enjoy being a part of it. We're also hoping that Cinnamon will be able to use the herbs and the flowers in their cooking and in um, display and just to be able to be a part of it in that way as well. In the near future we're hoping to have workshops that anybody can get involved in so we'll be making um, planters or learning what to plant at the right time of year and um, we'll be seeing how we can use the things from the garden in our cooking and our baking and we'll also be making sure that we can use nature to promote um, positive mental health so we'd love everybody to get involved in that and just to um, be a part and share in that community. So whenever we started, I didn't have green fingers, but I've really enjoyed the experience of learning from the people who, who knew what they were doing and who could help me in that. And even just being a part of the garden um, is a brilliant way to get to know people and um, to learn new things and to be a part of the community at the Santa Centre. As people have heard about the garden, it has been wonderful to see the generosity springing up of people who have pretty given up their time, energy and skills. Children and young people have also been really helpful with digging, sieving soil, tying up plants and decorating stones. The plants that were in the garden have either been grown from a tiny seed in our own gardens and then planted out here in the community garden or have been very kindly donated by people who have come along to see what has been happening. The wood to make the raised beds has been used from an old fence in a caravan park that was no longer needed. The slabs were very kindly donated from a local landscape gardener and the soil has also been very kindly donated. The garden as you see is full of life with plants sprouting and growing. We have even seen butterflies and bees visit the garden which is wonderful to see. Over the next few weeks and months, we would love to see more of you coming into our garden space and joining us as we work.